Google Classroom is one of the most popular learning management systems used by educators today. In this video, we'll explore how easily you can share content from your Annotate web account to Google Classroom. I want to mention that this feature requires the Annotate Web Annotations Chrome extension to be installed on both teacher and student devices. If you do not have the Annotate Chrome extension installed, please use the direct link on our downloads page to install it from the Google Chrome Web Store. You must be logged into your Annotate web account. If you have not imported your Google Classroom course into Annotate, now would be a good time to do so. Open the Courses tab and then click the Add Course Floating Action button then click Add Google Classroom Courses. Select the courses where you would like to use Annotate with Google Classroom and click Import. You only need to do this once at the start of the school year and Annotate will remember your Google Classroom courses from then on. Now go to your Google Classroom account, then open the course to use with Annotate and navigate to the Classwork tab. Click Create. You should see the Annotate Activity option available in the drop-down menu. Click Create Annotate Activity. The dialog has two tabs, Drawing Activity and Publish Annotate Content. We have covered the Drawing Activity in a separate video, and you can find a link to that video in the banner above. For now, let's navigate to the Publish Annotate Content. This area has your annotate content displayed across three different tabs. The course content tab shows how the content that has already been published to this course and is already available to students. The content library tab shows all the folders, notebooks, and clips from the content library in your annotate web account. You can navigate across folders to select the content you would like to publish. The Web Annotations tab shows the saved annotations that were created using the Annotate Web Annotations extension. If any of the file names appear truncated, simply hover your mouse to see the full file name in the tooltip. You may notice a blue star next to the file type icon for a few files that have already been published to courses. This indicates that the latest changes to the notebook, clip, or web annotation have not been published to the course Therefore, they are not yet available to students. You need to publish the latest version of the file again for your latest edits to be visible to students. Click to select a file. You can select multiple files by clicking the files you need to select. Click again to deselect a file. Once you've selected the files, you can then share with students. When you share one or more files to Google Classroom, the files are also published to the linked Annotate course in your Annotate web account. The flags on the right govern how the published content will be available to students. The view flag tracks which students have viewed a file since it's been published. If you are republishing a file again, you may want to reset it in case you would like to monitor which students have reviewed the latest updates to the files. The notebook preference flags apply to notebooks only. If the keep annotations private to course flag is set, then annotations in one course will not be visible to students in another course. This is useful when the same notebook will be used across multiple courses. If the publish edits immediately flag is set, then any updates to the notebook will be visible to students immediately. There's no need to publish the notebook again. The students can skip ahead flag controls how students are able to view clips that are published. The default setting is off and students will need to watch the video from start to end. If the flag is set, then students will be able to jump forward when watching the video. If you have added assessment questions to your notebooks or clips, then you can set any unused questions as homework by setting the assign unscheduled questions as homework. Students can respond to the assessments at their convenience. If you would like them to respond before a due date, then set a value in the due date field and the questions will no longer be available for students' responses 
after this date. Finally, click Publish to make the files available in your Google Classroom course. The published files will be available in your Google Classroom stream as announcements. Students need to click the file URL within the announcement to be able to access your content. We hope that this seamless integration with Google Classroom can be a real time saver when it comes to sharing your annotate content with your students. Please share your comments, your suggestions and observations as you use this feature so we can continue to improve it for use in your classroom.